Welcome back guys to my next part of hello world tutorial. Now in this video I will show you how to run your application in the Android studio in your Android emulator. So here inside the Android studio this is the project that we created in our very first video of hello world. Now again I will summarize few things. Make sure you are working under the project hierarchy because this is the detailed view of your project. And the thing that we saw in our previous video is that how activity main.xml and strings.xml are linked. This is the string slash hello underscore world. And this is and this hello underscore world is nothing but this hello underscore world which is going to show hello world exclamation in our application. And this activity main.xml and this main activity dot java is actually linked with the help of set content view r dot layout dot activity main dot xml. Now guys this r stands for r dot java file and this layout is the static field present inside the r dot java file. Just to make you understand let me tell you this r if you look at the project hierarchy as a noob then you can notice this r can be stand for resource file resource dot layout inside the resource I am having the layout inside the layout I am having the activity main dot xml. So resource layout activity main dot xml which is actually showing you the address of our activity main dot xml present right here in front of you. But this is not the case this r is the r dot java file this layout is a static field and again this activity main dot xml is some constant value present inside the layout. Pretty simple. So this is going to link our main activity dot java and activity main dot xml. Now guys these codes at the bottom is not required as of now so please remove it. And this action bar activity instead of activity I have written action bar activity which is actually deprecated. So replace it with app compact activity. Pretty awesome. Now just above you can see the import methods. So in case this import method is not here and in case it is showing some red line here then what you can do you can simply press alt enter. If you press alt enter it is going to show you many solutions to the errors. So you can simply import this class right in front of you. As of now I am using auto import method in our Android studio. So that is why automatic this package was imported in front of you. Pretty simple. Now in case you want to switch on the auto import then you can simply go to file. Go to settings. So as of now let us do one thing guys at the top simply type auto import. These are the few initial settings that I want you all guys to do. So simply type auto import at the top and you will find an auto import option on the left hand side by default selected. In the second way you can reach out this auto import. Let us remove it and you will find the auto import inside the editor, inside the general and you will find the auto import here. So simply select this auto import and simply check all these options. So just hit on apply and hit ok. So what it is going to do? It is going to import all the required packages for you like this. Now let's come to our point and let's try to run our application in our emulator. So for that purpose we first need to create our Android virtual device. At the top you will find all these icons are here. This stands for Android device monitor, this stands for SDK manager and this stands for AVD manager. That is our required destination at present in this video. But before that just open this SDK manager and inside the SDK manager make sure you have installed ARM this these system images that is ticked here. This will act as an emulator. This is the required files for the emulator. In my case I have not installed this API 22. So you can install 
you can install emulator of any of the API versions correct or to avoid any confusion simply select all these things and hit on install pretty simple click on install agree to the terms and conditions and hit on ok so after downloading just open this Android AVD manager and inside the AVD managers already I have created two of the emulator now in your case this AVD manager is going to show some empty space so for that what you're gonna do just hit on create virtual device now inside the virtual device you will find all these categories phone tablet wear TV so as of now just select this phone category and select what device you want there are many list of options Nexus 4, Nexus 6, Nexus S and blah 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 at present let us select this Nexus 4 hit on next and then what version you want to apply to your device these are the versions that are present here and as I showed you from the SDK manager if you have not downloaded any of the system images then it is going to show download option right here so you can download your emulator from here also as of now in my SDK lollipop version is installed KitKat is installed yes these two are only installed you can select lollipop or any of the latest version that is available in the market and then hit on next and after this you can name your device such as you can name it as my device yeah and after this just hit on finish yes here we go my device has been created in front of you that is having the API level 21 or you can also create the device with the latest API level in case you don't like this device then you can hit on edit and then you can edit your device right here you can change the device and also you can change the API version you can change the API version to the latest available in the market clear now now as of now I am going to run this Nexus S just hit on play and after some time it is going to launch your device in front of you so here our emulator has launched and it is going to take a while to load the emulator so here we go this is our first look of our emulator that looks like a real device so if you look at it it is going to appear similar to your Android device so let's do one thing guys let us run our application this is the run button so simply run it and soon after if you hit the play button you can see at the bottom Gradle is executing its task so after this it is this prompt is going to appear choose a running device in case you are having two or three emulators running then it is going to show you all the options right here just select it and hit on ok so bam here our application is up and running hello world so in this way guys we can run our application successfully so our first application is up and running which is not too bad looking pretty awesome so this is just the beginning of our Android tutorials journey so again guys if you're not getting the codes at present please don't worry we will check out each and everything in detail in the upcoming videos right so just remember inside the main we have two folders Java and resource this Java contains the Java files and this resource contains all the resource that appears on the screen for the user so thanks for watching guys have a good day so please comment on this video like this video share this video and help us to grow so that we can come up with more such videos for you thank you